We're playing Mega Man Legends. It's and it's not it's not just me, it's my friend 112. Say hi 112. Hello. Hello. I seem to be known on the internet for liking Mega Man. I wonder why. <laughs> once or twice I've heard you talk about Mega Man, so that makes sense. Oh, just once or twice. Not, not once or twice. Many. Not not too many, just every now and then. Yo, first time uh chat viewer. Land is the guy. Bonjour. Welcome. Hello. Oh hey Landy. He's uh he's he's a regular on our Mega Man, so it's very nice to see you here. Oh yo, let's go. For reference, his profile picture on the Discord is literally data from Legends, so on the small patches of land that remain above the sea. And we got this iconic this world, Yes. On hey Landy, hope you're doing well. We got the iconic opening scene. Powerful energy. Yeah. These refractors destroyed ancient ruins. Basically explaining uh, guess... how the world works, right? For a little bit of uh, both in-universe and just general explanation, Mega Man Legends is a PlayStation 1 game that released in 1997 in Japan and 1998 in the US. It is notable for being one of the first non-platforming Mega Man games. Not the first, but one of the first. And also pushing the series in a new direction on a new console. Up to this point, uh, Mega Man games had been primarily associated with Nintendo, with some exceptions. But this was one of the first games to be on a different console other than PS1. And as a result, it definitely tried a lot of new and interesting things. It's mm -hmm. definitely a really unique game that is well worth playing. And I hope that this Let's Play will allow a lot of people to see why this game is awesome. Yeah, this game's dope as hell. Uh, I played through it, hmm, I want to say like five, six years ago? Uh, something like that uh, on my old Let's Play channel. So I have played through this before. This isn't a fresh Let's Play. Um, but I remember, like, this This was one of my jams back when I got a PS1. Uh, and I and I played a little bit of the second one. But I, n I never got far in it because my copy was borked and it would freeze after one of the bosses in the game. So. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. But yeah, we got... Look at this. Look at the... the fucking pretty ass game oh i should probably turn on the controller right oh oh no oh we're off to a great start i love video games you know they're just i know right all right hang on i gotta fix my my buttons here all good uh yeah, the, the unfortunate reality about Mega Man Legends is due to the fact that it wasn't, it never sold quite as well as the other series, it's not as easily accessible. The best way officially to play the games at this point is via the PS3 on the PlayStation Network, and that's not exactly a modern console. Yeah, sure. It's, it, it's definitely depressing. The good news is... I won't get too far into this, but the good news is the chances of there being a collection are pretty likely at this point. So. Yeah. Alright, uh, right, stay paused. Stop it. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is, but for some reason, it's not picking up my controller. And I'm not sure why. Um, hang on a sec. You know what? I think I have an idea. Go to let's go to settings. Right. You always wonder why the three D model the flutter in that opening use the use the in the opening segment, whereas the sprite uses the sprite for the island tower. Probably console limitations. Legends is is a game that highly plays into the limitations of the PS one and uses it to its advantage. So it's definitely possible that was a result of just the limitations of this being a PS one game. Because remember. This game launched in 1997, so it's definitely not like a super duper late PS1 game. Right. Fact, yeah. It's pre it's pretty like midlife at that point, right? So. Yeah, exactly. It came out before the advent of the DualShock even, so there's there's not an there's no analog control. Oh, that's right. I forgot there's no an Oh god, that's going to that's going to be rough nuts on, on me. <laughs> like to, to be fair, the game is very heavily designed around that, so it should it should be reasonable, but yeah, it, it definitely might be a little bit trippy at first. Yeah, for sure. Oh boy, that's very loud. I need to turn that down. In about an hour, you'll be 
All right, there we go. And then And for reference, those yellow guys who you'll be seeing very, very frequently are the serve bots. We will get into who they are later. Mm hmm Oh, there we go. Okay. We should be able to see that now. Y'all can see the serve bots? I need everybody's attention. You know what? Alright, there we go. Sorry, no subtitles, by the way. I think those were added in either a later update or something along those lines. Do it. Don't remember them being in the PS1 original, sadly. Uh, maybe, could they have been, because this game did get a re-release, but it was only in Japan, and it was like right, the, on the P PlayStation Portable. Yeah, on the PSP, where it uh, was like a triple pack of 1, 2, and Misadventures. I believe that's when they added that, yeah, because they, they had a couple of quality of life improvements for the game in general at that point. Yeah. So, can, can everyone hear the game? Mega me, 112? One, one, Are we good there? Mega Man, can you hear me? Just barely. The transmission is too clear. I got worried because the transmission got cut uh, off. Let me check your audio. I can let me see what I can do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, Landy, can you hear the game, by the way? And Can, uh, can anyone I, hear uh, us? I, I asked the question, yeah. no one responded. <laughs> yeah. The reactor's still running. Great. What about the refractor? It's here. It's a big one, too. Oh, right. Now maybe we can finally get some money. Am I, am I like, going crazy? I see audio should be coming through on the stream, or at least according to OBS, you know. But I can hear it. I, I turned on the stream volume for a minute. And I can hear it. Okay, I can hear great. Cool. All right, we're clean. You can hear the game. You can hear us. We're good to go. Oh Ooh. no! You you know you would, one would think that stealing a valuable artifact would cause something like this. <laughs> exactly. Like. I, maybe they don't, but I'm pretty sure movies exist in this universe, right? Like, clearly, he Mega Man should have known about this, right? <laughs> well, well, we'll get into this later, but yes, movies definitely, and video games definitely do exist in this universe. <laughs> Zach's, my, my friend uh, Zach, Rob, Rob, you're a turd, I love you, great, I love you too, thank you, I am a turd sometimes, sometimes. Alright, by the way, look how clean this game looks. Yeah, this game has aged so well, in general, just in, in many different aspects, and the visuals is definitely one of those Wait aspects. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. Hmm, I wonder where. Yeah, it's not like it's right in front of you. But yeah, the, the Reaver bots are the equivalent of the Mavericks in this game. They're the, the enemy robots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I need to read those instructions again. I missed all one instruction. <laughs> Shoot. I think those oh guys boy. are definitely called Hirokos, if I recall correctly. Hirokos. I forget how you pronounce them. And then oh. the uh, currency being picked up are the Zenny. Wait, can I... Yeah, I'm dash dancing. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, Mega Man Legends became Super Smash Brothers Melee. <laughs> this is the prototype. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know she said go right, but I always love going to the corner because it's funny. Yep. Oh, Harako. Okay. So I got the name right. I just mispronounced it. Fair enough. Yo, you mean y'all don't take secret artifacts without traps? Yeah. Well, it, name one time that has happened. One. On, <laughs> yeah, wait. just once. Oh boy, this is kind of rough with a D-pad. <laughs> yeah, the, the controls is, is probably the aspect of the game that has aged the least well, but to be fair, it is it does go along well with the level design. Similar to something like Resident Evil, the game doesn't expect you to like turn around on a dime very often. 
Yeah, exactly. Hang on. Can I... Okay, I can't do that. I was going to say, can I do like a Zelda Z-Target situation to reorient the camera? Or no, I cannot. That that uh, mechanic was uh, better implemented in uh, Mega Man Legends 2. You definitely can lock onto enemies. All you right, you cool. can do it in this game, though. I, I, I frequently make the joke about how Mega Man Legends preceded Ocarina of Time Z-targeting by like a year, which is... <laughs> oh, circle is turnaround. Yes. There we go. All right, cool. We're, we're clean. We're in there. Yep. yep. Got it. Do you see a door? I, I might. <laughs> No, I don't I, know. I, I, I don't know if I see one. And yes, it's L two or R. I th I actually forget if it was L two or R two. I want to say it was L two, but I could be mistaken. It's a, it's R two. It's R two. Okay. Watch out! There's something right in front of you. Uh, oh yeah, gee, I wonder. Wrecked. Get out! Oh! Oh, watch the Harakos. Yeah, that does change in Legends 2, and Misadventures of Tron Bone has a... Well, Misadventures of Tron Bone is a little bit different regardless, but yeah. It's in many games. I guess this is a good time to mention, then, that uh, we're going to be playing all three of the games, so... Yep. Alright. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't there, like, a secret in here somewhere? Uh, was... give me a second. I re... I can... I remember there being like some sort of hole in the wall you can like investigate and it like gives you money. Um, which which ruins were these? The first one. Oh, it's not here. Okay, so I remembered it existed. I just didn't remember where. <laughs> yeah, this. I think this is a. Di I think it's a different dungeon. Oh, come on, get. Get up there, you blue bastard. Oh, okay. Mega Man has a like a grip like lift, but not fucking Banjo Kazooie. I got it. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, Mega Man Legends isn't as explicitly a platformer. It's more of a open ended adventure game, I suppose. Well, that arguably makes it worse then because <laughs> because Banjo should have it since he is a platformer. Where, where did they go? I want to blast them. Mega Man, I'm picking up a reaver bot. A reaver bot. Above you, watch out. Uh, Skull Kid Tiger in the chat just popping in to say, "Hope you're okay, buddy, and doing well." Uh, we'll watch later. Sure. Sadly, all the love and good vibes. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you. There they are. Sorry if I what, cut uh, out for a second. Internet. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. We're chilling. Wow, what a what a horrible creature to fight. Uh, oh, blue box. Wait a minute, can I get on top of the box? No, I can't. Nope. Oh, there you go. Large crystals provide energy for machines and use as currency. Nope. Yep. Uh, seen this level fan remade so many times, I know it like the back of my hand. I feel that. I'm assuming yeah, there's... No are, are there, like... Is there, like, some sort of, like, Legends reimagined fan thing? Or is... Is, the, is it only, uh, like, yeah, demos there's a, and there's stuff? A few... Uh, I don't know if the full game has been ever been remade, but I definitely know that, yes, there's definitely a few demos out there that uh, recreate at least the first few areas. I'm pretty gotcha. sure there's no full game recreation, though. Gotcha. That's a bummer, but it makes sense. It's a very big game. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know about very big, but it's definitely no easy undertaking. It's, it's, it's bigger than most Mega Man games, but to be fair, Mega Man is, is partially well-known for having shorter games on average in general. Even the, art, like the actual RPGs, like Battle Network, are only like 20-ish hours. That's true. That's a good point. I, I do I, plan I to play those once they make the inevitable collection. So. It's. I've been saying this for a while. They are. They are coming much sooner than people think they are. 
Oh, oh shit. We got we got leaks. We got rumors. What is, what's uh, going on? Sort of. The, essentially, um, Capcom said that um, no, 20-ish hours for Battle Network, not Legends. Um, for for Battle Network, le uh, Capcom on March 21st, which was the actual 20th anniversary, said that they had something to announce, but they couldn't announce it because of COVID. And considering that everything leading up to this point has been the exact same thing that led up to the X Legacy collections, I'm very confident that a Battle Network collection is being developed right now. Oh. But, and then, oh, yeah. so no, no, like, official source deal, just like... There's no official source, but considering all the evidence, it's pretty it's pretty clear that they were hinting at a collection. That makes it's sense. the exact same thing that led into uh, the X-Series' collection. Can you hear me? Oh, no. Yeah, eight, eight, eight hours in this game is pretty... That's pretty accurate. Hmm. Are you all right? The... Yeah, 20 hours was, was for Battle Network. I think the longest Mega Man game on average is Battle Network 5, and even then that's like 25, 30 hours. It's not that long. Oh, here's a bigger Reaver bot. Come on. Yeah. Can you win this fight? Or is this one of those vile uh, yeah. situations? No, you can win this fight. Oh god. You have to be facing the enemy to target! Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a Resident Evil can't move and shoot at the same time thing. Uh... Okay, there we go. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen closely, because I'm going to give you the ultimate technique. This might go a little fast, but let me explain. When you face a boss, just circle and strafe. That oh? is true. A, a lot of the bosses can be fairly easily defeated doing that. There are some exceptions, like the last boss is not... You can't really do that for the final boss, but for most of the other ones, yeah. Oh no, it's not dead! Gasp. What will happen? Oh. I mean, you can kind of do that for the last boss, but it's not as straightforward. Yo, shout out to those water, water textures. Fast. I know, right? Ooh, they're clipping. Yeah, exactly. You have to, you have, you have, you, you can't just, uh, you can't unga bunga the last boss. You do have to pay uh, attention. Unga bunga? Yeah. Oh, for sure, jumping, jumping ox. This game is amazing. Jumpadox favorite games on PS1? Hell yeah, this game's dope. I know people are like, oh, the second one's better, like, as a game. And I'm like, I get it, but I don't know. This one's cool, you know? I'm gonna be honest, I disagree. I think this game is better. Oh, really? What? Oh, I like, do. what, what, I mean, without, like, going too heavy into it, what makes the second one not as good for you? Uh, I think the world of the first one is better. I believe there's one dungeon in Legends 2 that is absolute garbage, and I just believe that the atmosphere of the first game is, is more conducive to the story it's trying to tell. Ah, that makes sense. The, the, the main point, honestly, is the one dungeon in Legends 2. That dungeon is complete trash, and we'll get to that. Gotcha. <laughs> and yeah, there, here's the flutter. I'm tilting so far backwards, how am I doing this? <laughs> I guess we left Mega that Man's boss private. tilted. Yep. Oh, Mega Man's private jet. That is true. I wish I had a private jet. Would be pretty cool. Yeah, it'd be alright. 7 out of 10. <laughs> 7.8 out of 10, too much water. In this case, literally. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, started living into my body. <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm a PS1 character. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tilted Towers. Yep. And there's Roll Casket. Nice you, timing, Roll. As you can probably tell, the role of this universe. Right. So, so uh... Are they always brother and sister, or is it sometimes just cohorts, like in this game? Um, in this case, they aren't directly related. Uh, 
I don't want to spoil it too much, but they're not brother and sister in the Legend universe. Yeah. In in uh in classic, they definitely are directly brother and sister, and then in Battle Network, they're not. Gotcha. I actually didn't know Roll was even in Battle Network. Well, because I've never played them, so I, I obviously yeah, I that's that's, know, that's fair. <laughs> she's uh she's males uh net navi in that game. Gotcha. I can't believe Mega Man's part of the one percent owning his own pirate jet. Oh my god! Well, to be fair, they are pirates, so they do get a lot of money. That does make sense. Well, they're not pirates, but like they're—I don't want—I don't, I don't want to spoil this too much. But they're—they're—they're they're, they're diggers. They basically go around and trying to find refractors. Yeah, they make their money by like searching for it and whatnot. Right. Right. Adopted siblings, yeah, that's that's a good that's a good descriptor. God, the voice acting in this game is really good. Yeah, right. And I I understand the joke of haha, Mega Man voice acting sucks, and that's definitely true for a lot of the games, but not all of them. Like this game's voice acting is very good. Same with yeah, uh, the other this, two games. I I would say like definitely the X games are a little rough in the acting department. Um, and then, you know, Mega Man 8 is, like, Bass, we are not enemies! Like, right. you know, but, uh, or, or all the energy immediately, well, Mega Man. Yeah. <laughs> but, like... Order the new colonel! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> yeah. and, 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 yes, as Landy says, Mega Man screaming for 23 seconds in Mega Man 8 is definitely not the best thing in the world, but... That being said, there definitely are Mega Man games with really good voice acting. The Legends games, X8, Maverick Hunter X, Eleven. Yeah, yeah there, there's definitely examples of the voice acting being done right. Looks like the repairs aren't going to be finished anymore. No, <laughs> that, Wendy, that song I, I, was no. a fucking pop. <laughs> you, are, you are mistaken. All right, so yeah, unfortunately, they had to. They crash landed on Catalox Island and. Mm -hmm. F to the flutter, I suppose. What I kind of appreciate is, like, they just stumble on this island. Like, there there was no, like, actual rhyme or reason for being here. <laughs> yeah, oh, pretty much. Let me talk to Monkey. Yep, this monkey's is... name is Data. He will become very important later in the story. I, I'm not being sarcastic. But look at this little guy. Oh, oh, oh my god, I just realized, because of, uh... <laughs> because of how I'm playing the game, everything's being rendered at like 1080p, right? So it's super like high quality. Data's hands are just two like textures mapped in a plus symbol. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's fucking it... go. That's funny. Wait, I hope the game didn't. Okay. No, it just it actually just takes forever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fair enough. <laughs> Yay. All right, there we go. Life charge. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay, I'm good. Also, uh, his name is Data because he saves your data. Yeah, he's a good monkey. Yep. Oh, I keep wanting to hit now, X to talk to people. It's circle. Him Data's being a good monkey is, is is a little debatable considering what happens later, but we'll get there. No, he's a good monkey. Data's never hurt mm. anybody. Never done anything wrong. Good Her monkey. Hat. And there must be oh, yeah, a town that... somewhere on this island, on an island this big. Think you could go take a look around, Mega Man? Nope. By the way, that's Barrel Casket. That's Roll's father, or really grandfather. We'll get to that later. I'm an explorer. That's one of the best parts about Legends is the ability to explore the giant open environments. There's there's so much to do on Catalox Island. It's, it feels like a like a lived-in world, and for a game on in 1997, that's very impressive. Right. I I love that. <laughs> I don't have my Buster right now, so I can just kick right. Yep. And and uh, as like behind the scenes, the uh, thumbnail that I commissioned for this series, um, it was I I told uh, Adrian the artist. I told him it's either having Mega Man, or you on the thumbnail, right? right. Uh, 
either blasting a serve bot or kicking him because I, I know how fun it is to kick things in this game. It, there's an it room defi called there's the sub definitely a certain humor to kicking ev almost everything. I just come here to pick mushrooms. Well, there's not a lot around here, lady. Sorry. I think you're looking in the wrong place. Yeah, right. Wrong, wrong, wrong series. Mario's on Nintendo. Yep. <laughs> oh. couple, couple, couple towns over there. Yeah, right. <laughs> just a couple towns over. If the Mushroom Kingdom towns. is over this ridge, I'm going to quit. <laughs> like... well, uh... All right. Is there... Is there like anything for me to do or do I have to go to the town first? I, I believe you have to go to the town at this point. Okay. I can't believe your trees are one polygon. Dude, one entire polygon, baby. Let's go. Oh my god, they really are just like one. <laughs> They're just a rotating texture. That's yep. amazing. I love PS1. But, but yeah, it's nothing point, like Fortnite. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Shake my head, this game sucks. <laughs> Yo, if they could add a uh, Volna to Fortnite and then keep the PS1 poly aesthetic, that'd be actually kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Real talk, now that uh, Jill and Chris from Resident Evil are in Fortnite, I have been saying this a lot, but I will continue to say it. Mega Man is inevitable. It, it's going oh, yeah. to happen. Oh, yeah. It's definitely happening. Because we also got uh, Street Fighter in there, right? So. Yep, we uh, Ryu, Ken... Guile, or not Ken, Ryu, Chun-Li, Guile, and Kami. And especially considering Mega Man is the, I believe, fourth best-selling Capcom franchise, it's only natural that it'll follow Resident Evil number one Street and Street Fighter number three. Number two would be uh, Monster, Hunter, Monster Hunter. Right. Oh, and oh my God, did you see that? <laughs> the popping. It's, it's real. <laughs> yep. Two town. Well, it says town, not city. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God, here come the cops. A cab, baby. What's going on? Fucking high quality sign. You certainly put on quite a. Sh yeah, so shockingly, when <laughs> you have your entire plane crash into an island. Someone's bound to show up to complain about it. Alright. Uh, now question. Are, are there any major differences between this game and Mega Man 64, which is essential? Is that more or less just a port of this game, but downsized? Uh, it is mostly the same. The controls are different, so it, it definitely feels different but the actual level layouts are identical. The only real gameplay difference in that department, at least from what I recall, is um, a couple of like areas are a little bit less, like po have less polygons because of the lessened power. Gotcha. But it's, it's mostly the same experience. Oh, and compressed audio, weird controller. Yes. Got oh, <laughs> if we don't leave soon, we're gonna get a parking ticket. Yeah, as as Landy is indicating, it is an objectively worse version of Legends One. That's that's pretty much all it is. Okay, is that like the general consensus? Like other than people who are just like, I have nostalgia for it. Like, is it generally considered much, just worse? Yeah, because yeah, it's 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 the same game. There's no additions or anything. They just downsized it, as you said, for the uh, N64, which was admirable considering this game does a lot of very high tech stuff for the time. Mm-hmm. But they it's, just it's couldn't handle it. With, uh... Oh, sorry. It just couldn't handle it. The immense power of the legends. <laughs> yeah. It, it is understandable why, that, therefore, Legends 2 and Misadventures of Tron Bond never made it over, because they are much bigger games, and they just probably couldn't fit it. Also, the N64 didn't sell that well, sadly. Right. Well, didn't also Mega Man 64 come out in, like, 2000? Like, after Legends 2? Like... Uh, Mega Man 64 came out in, I just had it up, uh, yes, 2000 and 2001. Gotcha. So by that point, yeah, the GameCube would be the console, I suppose. Which had its own Mega Man games, to be fair. Yo, it would have been cool if they, like, 
like took all three games and put them in a GameCube collection, like everyone else was doing at the time. <laughs> Including Capcom. Remember, there's a Mega Man Anniversary Collection, which had the first eight games plus the arcade games, and then Mega Man X Collection, which had the six X games plus uh, Battle Instinct. Yeah, that's true. Police are here. They came to see if we're okay. Doubt it. Uh, they basically they could have had every single game up to that point, essentially, or at least the main games on the GameCube if they ported Legends, because Battle Network and Zero didn't really exist yet. Hmm. Let me welcome you to Catalox Island. <laughs> I like how you're not going to question if we're like terrorists or something. You're just going to... Yeah, everyone's chill? Alright, look at this cute monkey. <laughs> uh, that, that attitude will bite them in the butt later. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> don't, don't spoil it. Don't worry. It won't take oh no, you need an ID. Oh no. While we're waiting... Shopping arcade next to the city. You don't need an ID card to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, Data has committed war crimes against pizza. Against no. Pizza. How could Data do such a thing? That is unforgivable. Data's a good monkey. Would never commit war crimes on pizza. That may or may not be canon. <laughs> All right. What do you have to say about? Uh, all right. I mean, to be fair, that's understandable. You don't want someone hijacking your ship and then taking off. Fair enough, yeah. All right, to the arcade. Or, well, shopping arcade. You get what I mean. Right. Mega Man's boop steps. Yep. Th there, was a, there was a great message in um, our Mega Man that said, like... Uh, Legends has no big boots. Zero out of ten game. <laughs> All right, open. Come on, let's go. North door. All right, and welcome to the Apple Market. This is easily one of the most iconic locations in the. I knew you were gonna do that. I I freaking knew it. Why wouldn't I? I of course. And I guess this is a really good time to mention that Mega Man Legends is very interesting. Because there's actually a moral system, or like an ethics system. So, basically the way it works is the more mean or jerkish stuff that you do, the darker your armor becomes. So if you're a jerk and kick the can, and do that basically, and kick the can into the bakery, they're gonna get pissed at you and you'll, um, oh whoops, you might have accidentally clipped the, oh there we go. So yeah, if you, if you successfully kick the can into the bakery, the owners will be annoyed and uh, your moral uh, standing will go down. And there are benefits and drawbacks to uh, committing to committing crimes, I suppose, versus being a saint. And for so I, I won't get too far into it, but it's a really cool system that definitely encourages replayability. And the good news is you're never locked in either way. You can you can go all the way from being a saint to being a jerk and vi and vice versa at any point you want. Yeah, the in Legends 1 specifically, the system wasn't as well thought out as Legends 2. So there you go. Nice shot. Let's go, baby. So yeah, you get money, but yeah, you, you do also... Yeah. The, the shop owner was not too pleased with that. In Legends 2, yeah, they handle it a lot better where you get, like, items and whatnot. But there's still benefits in Legends 1. Even if you don't have a digger's license. Oh, nice. Yep. Oh, I should probably go next door then. Wait, Fun can, fact, you, put, actually, during can the, you put the pup? I don't quite remember. I don't think so. Oh! You can kick it. Oh, I almost kicked the dog. I didn't want to do that. That would have been bad. I don't want to kick the pup. No, no pup kicking. Not on this stream. Yep. <laughs> Spoiler alert, that is a very quick way to lowering your moral status. Shocking, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're better off looking at the junk store. Well, oh, I, mean, look, I, I guess like... now's a good time to go to that piece of dialogue in the magazine store. Uh, haven't seen you. Hey, wait a minute. Are you one of those, what are they called? Are you... <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, yes. 
But by the way, the Japanese name for diggers is dig outer. Dig outer. Yeah, they they made it simpler in the uh, English version. And actually, the the Japanese name of Mega Man Legends is Rockman Dash, which is actually an acronym. It stands for Dig Outer's Adventure in the Halcyon Days. Dig Outer being the Japanese name for digger, and Halcyon being a uh, Greek word that is roughly translates to the good old days or something to that effect. Oh, nice. Oh my god, look at this Fire Emblem Three Houses food. W wow, you really went there. What? Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. That's what I'm saying. That's... Wow. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Uh, and okay. armor's so well, great. Comes... Uh, what, what am I doing here? Um, oh, yeah. Whoa. If you inspect a certain thing, a, a special line of dialogue will come up. Uh, sure. Yeah, there you go. By the way, in the beta version of Mega Man Legends, the Apple market was reversed left to right. I don't know why, but... Why? <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea. I guess they just thought this layout was better. No. Uh... Heavy Metal CD, I'm good. Yeah. Are these like remixes of songs from other Mega Man games, or are they just random music? I believe it's just random music. Well, I'm just going to listen to the samples. Well, that's hey, no, no. A jazz CD. Shadow the Hedgehog music starts playing. Yo, sick. Let's go. That soundtrack's actually not awful. <laughs> it's it's definitely. Oh, you mean Shadow the Hedgehog? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not the best Sonic soundtrack ever, but far, far from the worst. Yeah, like exactly. Okay, well, there's a lot of classic CDs, I guess, but... A pop CD? I'm good. Come on, now. A Baroque? Jesus. Hmm. Kids don't... Yeah, they got a lot of what kid even knows what Baroque means? Good question. Alright. Am I supposed to be looking for something specific? I can't uh, find it. Is, it. is this not the magazine store? No, it's a CD shop. That's why I've been... It's been asking me about music. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think there's any... Yeah. I don't think there's anything in, in particular importance in here. No need to go into the stores. Got it. Yeah, yeah. The, the only thing I was mentioning is if you go to the magazine store specifically, there's a very famous line of dialogue. Alright. Well, we'll need to go there then and check that out, right? So... Yep. Where is that at? Um, I can't remember the exact layout of the map at the moment, but I think it's somewhere around this area. <laughs> Jess, I don't know what Baroque means. <laughs> Honestly, I, mean, I don't either. The same. <laughs> I think that's it, yeah. There's a lot Here of comics on the stands, but they're sealed in vinyl bags, so people can't read them without buying them. Okay. I think... I think this might be the one. There's a lot of novels on the shelves, but none that look interesting. I think it's this one. There's there some dirty go. magazines on the racks. It might be fun to look at them, but but there's so many people around. <laughs> You'd get in trouble if someone saw it. God damn That's it. That's the one. There we so, go. So yeah, that line of dialogue is infamous because it's it's an example of Capcom like pushing the boundaries a little bit, and it's it's referenced in a lot of other games. Um, fun fact, actually, Deltarune even references that line. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, I, I won't spoil too much, but in Chapter 2, there, there's a direct callback to this specific line. Yeah, yes, Landy. I, technically, yes, as much as I hate to admit it. Yo, he's, he's mild, Orny. Just, just, it's just a, mild. There's a refractor shard inside. Found a hundred yep. bucks. Let's go, baby. All right, so if you if you want to progress with the story, you would go to the junk shop in this case. And if you speak if you speak to the women, you'll get to the woman, you'll get something. Junk shop lady. Part, it's for your shit. Sorry, but my husband's out on a dig right now. 
You know what a dig is, right? It's where you go underground looking for old machine parts. Thank you. I didn't ask. Uh, wonder what's taking him so long. <laughs> hey, little blue boy. Would you... well, I'm a man. Uh, would you be willing to go find him for me? Yes. You will? Oh, thank you so much. You'll probably find him somewhere near the entrance. He's really just a big coward. So, you see? Ooh. So, I don't think he's gone too far in. Damn, lady. Why you gotta roast him? He's not even here. I'm a mega man. Oh, that might be a terminal montage callback. Yo, what what are you fucking hoodlums doing? Aren't you the fucking kid from Battle Network? The fucking gutsman looking guy? Oh, Dex? Uh, to be fair, <laughs> Battle Network came out after this. That was uh, 2001. <laughs> I know, I'm just making a bit. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, to be fair, there are actually... The other way around is true. There are Battle Network characters inspired by characters in Legends. Bruh. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Uh, oh my god, it's the hoodlums from... Oh my god, Rayman 3! Hoodlum Havoc, let's go! I know, right? I forgot that game existed. Just saw an older man go inside those rooms over there. Yeah. I wonder if he'll be alright. You want to go check on him? You should probably save first. If you want to save, just talk to me, okay? Thanks, monkey. Yep. Oh. Alright, oh. um... Oh. oh. <laughs> it just takes way too long. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, you can I love definitely the... save. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Also, the game right, is so a crash. Just a long He's in the, time. Uh, the dome-shaped building that you passed on the way. Yep, right here. There you go. Uh, they fixed it in Legends 2, though. Oh, thank God. It reminds me of uh, saving a lot of data from Pokemon Gen 4. Oh, I, I, uh, I'm not a huge Pokemon fan, so I, but like, I assume it takes approximately this long. Uh, so, if, uh, if, if at any point in Gen 4 you did like a large number of tasks, it would just take a long... It would literally say saving a lot of data. So, uh, oh. Um, but what's funny is... There's like a little, I don't know about a glitch per se, but like they basically made it so uh, if you just walk up to the Pokemon like PC to like exchange your Pokemon, uh, it would uh, it would always do saving a lot of data even if you didn't actually do anything. So just booting up the PC would cause it to trigger. Oof. Mega Man Legends abridged yet? Didn't know it existed. I stopped. Oh, I stopped yeah, watching there, there a abridged, abridged a long good. time ago. It's oh, pretty wait. good. Yes, sir. Help me. Uh, let's go the other way instead. Is there a time limit on this? No. Good. It's one, it's one of those, uh, the game makes you think there's a time limit, but in reality, there is not. Good. I can actually do what I want, then. I, I, I must say, I do find it humorous when... The, the game indicates, oh my god, we have to stop this world-ending event immediately. You can just do, like, all the side quests and take, like, hours, and the game doesn't <laughs> not care. Shoutouts to RPGs. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. Oh my god, this, this fucking Daddy Long Legs is wrecking my shit right now. Hang on. There you go. Uh, right. Yeah, they're pretty fast, but uh, the circle strafe technique definitely helps you. There you go. Yeah, you might, the platform is uh, blocking your shots, sadly. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Ugh, can't reach it. Nah, can't reach it. Okay, well, oh well. That's fine. All right, back in. Can you look up what Baroque means? I'm actually thinking about that now. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, I think Landy actually described it in the chat, but... Oh, did did they? Uh, I didn't see it. Sorry. It's all good. It's, it's uh... It's oh, like there it Western is. Western classical music from, yeah, 1600, 1750 Western Europe. Gotcha. Okay. Hey, Shell, how you doing? Yo, is that Shellshock Prime? Indeed, Let's go. Indeed. 
It's the dude. It's him. Let's go. Oh, well, there's the... Described as by his wife, Coward, I suppose. Yeah, right. Look at this fucking dude. Words, he's, not mine. He's dancing. Let's ha let's go. How are, how's everyone doing? Uh, I'm doing good. We're chilling, playing Mega Man. How are you doing, one one two? I'm doing great. And any any chance I get to discuss games like this is always always a pleasure. You're really Hell needing yeah. that space jump? Oh no! Suddenly Metroid Prime. <laughs> Feeling pretty data. Oh, well, considering some later events, I don't know if I, how I feel about that. Uh-oh, two Harakos. Wait, two what? Oh, <laughs> uh, Harakos. That's what those guys are called. Okay, that is not what I heard the first time, and I feel really bad for hearing what I did. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. It's, it, it's a weird pronunciation, but yeah, their official names are Harakos. They I thought you said Harambe's. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, no not, the, not the monkey. <laughs> we already have one crazy monkey. We don't need two. Don't feel data. Oh yeah, yeah. That statement won't age well. Uh oh. Mine's back up a little bit. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Landy, I I literally swear to God. <laughs> that joke is, is from the next game, but God, don't. Just don't. Just don't. Look at this dude. He's trying his best, you know? Aha. Level geometry always wins. Yikes. That's a, that's a good uh, quote for a meme. <laughs> oh, wait. Someone says something uh, stupid. Bullnut. Yikes. Yeah, there we go. Oh my! Oh, oh, gee, man, there's another one. There's another one. Oh my! Yep. All right, and then rapid, it's a rapid fire. fire. Mega Man Buster Part. So yes, what? so they basically implemented special weapons in Legends, similar to the classic series. It does work slightly differently. You can't, um, you can't equip them as on the fly as you as you normally would, but um, they, they do help considerably. Yeah. Oh, that does make a difference. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's very similar to the special weapons from the classic series in particular. Quit your belly aching, God. <laughs> yeah, not, not Stop. quite, but it, it will get there. I like how if you shoot him, he says, ouch. <laughs> yeah. I think that also deducts moral points, if I recall correctly. They can deduct these nuts instead. Uh, I Ooh. need to find. I need to beat this. I still have it on N64. We were just talking about that one earlier. Apparently, yeah. it's not. It's not the primo version to play. <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 legend, the original PS1 version of Legend is definitely superior, but it's not terrible on N64. It's perfectly playable. It's just not as good. Hmm. It's not like Sonic Genesis, where if you play that, that's sacrilege. Oof. Oof. Now that's, that's a fuck. See, that's an interesting question, though. What, what makes, is Sonic Genesis worse than something like Sonic 06 because it made a good game bad? Or is it just bad game, bad game, doesn't matter? I, I would argue the latter, honestly, because at, at the core, it's still Sonic 1. It's just a bad version of it. The, the original vision is, is still there whereas with sonic 06 we never got officially of course the original vision i know there's a fan remake oh yo and Not yeah there's maps. the map the map is pretty good in this game it, and, and in pretty much all the games shout out to Mega Man legends actually having a map unlike metroid on the nes oof roasted why well to be fair <laughs> metroid had a map before mega man did so super metroid, yeah super metroid had a map before mega man did that's a good point because he wants to thank you you should stop by his store later and Don't yeah landy has a good point sonic 06 made a good game premise garbo that's that's a that's a good point yeah that's true it was essentially going to be adventure 3 and then they were like uh oops <laughs> Oops, all rush. Yep. See, that's the problem is 
They legitimately rushed that game. So, like, they, they made... They were making Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, he the Hedgehog engine, Sonic 06, and Sonic Rush all at the same time. And Secret Rings. So, like, they, they literally just shot themselves in the foot with that one. <laughs> and... It, it honestly, it is a miracle that even one of those games is good because Sonic Rush is actually a pretty decent game. Oh yeah, that game's excellent. So the the fact that Sonic Rush is actually pretty good is is a miracle in itself. That series of, of any series could definitely use a comeback, and you got it. Yeah, that was much faster this time too. Yeah. Put trash in its proper place. Dimps also made Rush. That's that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, okay, I, I wouldn't say Dimps is a guarantee of a good Sonic game, though. Most of their Sonic games are pretty hit or miss. <laughs> like, what else What else did they make? Uh, they made... Okay, so essentially, uh, they made Pocket Adventure for the Neo Geo. Then they made the Advance games. Then they made the Rush trilogy, so to speak, right? Uh, right. And then... And then they made Sonic 4 Episode 1 and 2. Oh, okay. Because I was about to say, up until you said Sonic 4, I was like, wait, all those games are really good, though. It's like, oh, Sonic 4. Okay, that explains I mean, it. I mean, I would argue Advance 3 is a bad one, but, you know. Uh, that's fair. It, it, it's definitely not as good as 1 and 2. That's that's correct. Yeah. I. Oh, yeah, and I forgot they did Generations on 3DS, but, like, they made that game in, like, six months. I know, right? <laughs> No, but, like, actually, literally. They only had six months to make it. Which is a huge thumbs down. Please give developers time to create games. That is important. Yeah, Sega announced it for 3DS without even having a development team. Nice. Well, well thought out there, Sega. Sonic 4 also, came after, though. But they made it. That was the problem. They made it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they made it. Also, it was, it was totally never intended to be Sonic 4. That was just a marketing thing. That was... Granted, Episode 2 was better, but too little too late. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, I gotta disagree there. Lost World 3DS was kinda trash. Yeah, oof. I played the demo, it was fine. Uh, but then I hear, av like, any level that takes place after the demo is just a nosedive. <laughs> so. For, what, uh, what level does the demo go up to? Hmm. I want to say it's oh, like, yeah. it's like two levels from the first two worlds. So, like, you get, like, a couple grass levels and then, or a couple windy hills and then a couple of the sand ones. Okay. The, the, the game takes a nosedive a little bit after that. It's. It's really, I forget what the ice level is called, but the ice level, which is the fourth one, is where the game completely falls off of the quality cliff. Um, yeah, that, that's what I've heard. Yeah, the, the ocean level is fine. I don't remember that many problems with it, but the, the ice one and onward, this, what was it, the ice, the sky, the lava, thumbs down. Those are garbage. Yo, Marabitoba. Mur Marabitoba? Triple seven. Yo, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's easier for me to say. Oh wait, you mean Legends 2. <laughs> oh. Oof. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Ta talking about the specific dungeon again. Again, we'll get to that. That dungeon is a huge thumbs down. Oh wait, if I tell them Hippopotamus, they believe me, don't they? They will believe you for the entire rest of the game. That is correct. Is there any downside to me picking Hippopotamus? I don't think so. I think it's just a joke. Hippopotamus. What kind of name is that? Well, yeah. anyway, come back, Mr. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Let's go. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any downside. I think it's just a joke. Hell yeah. Let's Where go. Where can I find the fabled quality cliff? Oh, there's plenty of games you can find that in. The only downside is that you're called Hippopotamus. Oh, I don't know about the downside, though. That sounds like a W to me. It, that sounds like a fucking selling point on the back of the box. <laughs> like, you can be a hippopotamus. It's your legal name now. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna legally change my name to hippopotamus. Let's go. Hippopotamus. All right. All right. So did, so, did you get sell that? me I shit, mean, you nerds? 
Did you get the uh, mine parts? The mine parts kit. Uh, yes, I did. Okay. So at this point, your next goal is to uh, go outside and speak with Roll so you can fix up the car. Can I buy stuff from them now, or is that later? Uh, yeah. My husband and I used to go on digs. Who's fucking anime boy over here? Who are you? I guess it's their son. Are you a digger? I'm here doing research on the ruins of this island here. And there sure are a lot of them, aren't there? No, yep. yes. I would hope so. Okay, I guess I can't. Yeah, <laughs> I'm changing, <laughs> changing my first name to Platypus. <laughs> so so is, does that mean your last name is Perry instead of instead of the other way around? <laughs> Perry platypus the Perry. platypus. <laughs> exactly. Similar to uh that one joke from Sonic Boom. Back oh, yeah. my middle name. I thought your middle name was the. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that whole show is just so good. That that show is is a classic. You want to know how to do video game shows well, especially when the game itself is bad. That is Example no, example A, exhibit A. Is that right? Yes, is Landy it, is, is... Oh, what was that? Uh, Landy is correct. He was originally intended to be a rival digger. There were a couple of characters that got straight out cut from the game. Like, there was going to be an evil rock man, but they just couldn't find a way to get it in. I mean, that makes sense. I can't imagine, like, including a mechanic like that in this game, because, like, where would you even fit it, really? You know? Exactly. Like, I'd rather a con I'd rather content get cut if it if it wouldn't make sense to have it, you know. Precisely, yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. What were you saying? Oh, I I don't even remember. It doesn't matter. All right. She really likes machines, doesn't she? She sure does. Save my game, monkey. Monkey. Monk. Yo, wait. If we're getting guest characters in Monkey Ball, who do we Data? tweet? Data. Oh my God. Who do you we are tweet? Genius. Who do we tweet? Tell me who. Uh, I, I will, I will at them so them. hard. <laughs> Someone get the fucking producer for Legends on this shit. Let's go. Oh boy. That would, uh, unfortunately, the executive producer, I believe, was Inafune. And, well. Oh, well, he can blow nuts. I don't give a shit about him. <laughs> I have to dig for him. Yeah. Did you uh, speak with Roll yet? That's what I'm doing now. Okay. Oh, okay, there you go. So yeah, you'll 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 get a new special weapon. Mega Man, what's that? It looks like a weapons upgrade module. Hell yeah. Oh this? Yeah. Oh this? He said we could use this car to hook it up. Yep. You mean we can use this car? Well, come on then, let's get it attached right away. How convenient that you were standing next to this car with no wheels. I know, right? It's ready. So yeah, this will be where Data is primarily for the rest of the game. You can find him in other locations, obviously, but he's primarily going to be here. Mm -hmm. And boom! So yes, this is the new weapon, the Splash Mine. It's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. No. I'll be able to help you out and maybe spot for you if I can get it running again. Yo, what's this fucking music? Let's go. Yeah. The 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 Legends music is very different from most of the other Mega Man games just because it's it for the most part it's more atmospheric, but when the soundtrack wants to go hard, it really goes hard. Oh, for sure. Like I was playing uh <clears throat> a from Tatsunoko versus Capcom, the remix of uh, what is it called? Flutter versus Gestalt Shaft or whatever. Oh, uh, Flutter versus Gestalt Shaft, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which fucking clean song? That's a clean ass Easily. song. Easily one of the best songs in the entire series. It's it's so good. Oh yeah. They right. they they frequently use that song for when a legend's character is in a fighting game, such as Volnut and Tatsunoko or Tronbon in uh, MVC two and three. Yeah, yeah. Just gonna at, 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 at Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> yes. Yo, let's go. Let's get it done. Data for Monkey Ball. <laughs> ah, there you are. All right, so yeah, he'll he'll be giving you something. Hopefully not handcuffs. That would be bad. 
Yo, shout out to the lice armband. <laughs> I know, right? There are some gates that can't be opened. So yeah, basically the citizen's card lets you go through the various gates. Yeah. So you can press. Pirates. Pirates. Yep, watch out for them pirates. We saw them in the intro cutscene. So as before, yeah. We're evacuating the civilians and locking the gates. Pirates? <laughs> um, a pirates? <laughs> Will he be all right? Well, I'm sure he's heard the announcements about the pirates. I mean, yeah. If I see him, I'll make sure he gets to a safe place. <laughs> okay, he says that, but he's about to go just stand over to, like, just right by the door, right? Like, he's not... He's got it! <laughs> yeah, he's not doing shit. Hmm, it's almost as if it's a commentary on the society. Oh, damn. What? You... What? This game's deeper than you thought. Yep. Just like every other game. <laughs> Mega Man Legends was actually Metal Gear before Metal Gear. Or I should I clarify, was that. Metal Gear Solid before Metal Gear Solid? Right. I just forgot when Metal Gear Solid came out. Okay, it was 98. Uh, 98. So technically, this game did come first. Yeah, 98. That's another one I want to play on stream sometime. And yes, I will never not do this. <laughs> I mean, you do get money for it, so... Exactly. There's no reason not to do it. Spend a little time, it, get a lot of money now. Right. The, the, like I said, the only downside really... In Debatable whether it's considered a downside is, is uh it does lower your your uh epic what what's it called the moral system. All right, can I? I'm not, I'm... This might be a trick shot. Ah, close. Okay, one more time. Yeah, there's more there's time. definitely benefits and drawbacks to having. Oh fuck you! Oh. Well, <gasps> oh, <Bro! laughs> oh, let's go. There you go. Yo, it bounced I'm... out and then in. Oh Let's my go. Lord. Let's go. No, this, this reminds me of when I was watching a Wii Sports golf speed run. And... Hang on. Can we just establish that you said the phrase Wii Sports golf speed I, run? I know. It sounds ridiculous. But that is a real thing people do, which is Let's hilarious. Go. The, so what happened was the, the guy hit the ball using the Wii remote. It bounced into the hole, out of the hole, and landed right next to it. Oh, what a shitty feeling that's gotta it, be. It was it was something else, I'll put it that way. I, I didn't even know that was possible. And no, it did not count as a hole in one. He had to hit it again. Why are they teaching me about the walking slowly feature? I don't think I ever need that, right? Uh, it's never required. It's it's useful in some very specific circumstances, but yeah, you, you never outright need it for the game. Oh, they're talking about a suspicious girl. Who could that be? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> 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 Stop talking about legends! Oh, I'm, gonna... oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm tired of seeing it! <laughs> My friends on TikTok send me serve bots. On Discord, it's fucking Flutter. It's. <laughs> and all the channels are data. <laughs> I, I, the logo on my underwear I flipped it showed it my girlfriend and I said look it's a refractor <laughs> <laughs> why did I need to walk up to them slowly just get out of my way or I'll blast you god you'll, you'll, you'll pretty much never use that mechanic for the rest of the game mm. I, I think it's used like maybe two or three more times Uh, try searching in the trash cans. There's a couple of good items in there. Okay. Oh, okay, and yeah. Well, here's one of the most famous characters in the entire series. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> God, the voice acting is so good. It's so funny. Look at these cuties. Hmm. 
What are you looking at? I don't know, magical boat hair lady. <laughs> Roll, you should have oh, seen it. Oh! What the fuck? I didn't mean to. I was, I was, I was about to say those cars do hurt you, so be careful. Well, now I know. Yep. All right, that was my fault. I, I was way too slow on the draw for that one. Oh shit! That's real though, right? Yeah, you don't don't kick those. That's a bad idea. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Is there anything inside? It's broken but yeah, motor. Yeah, broken motor. That's that's gonna be helpful for later. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, they could have just done a two D spray, but congrats to them for doing like a an eight sided an <laughs> yeah. like like. Like a ten-sided octagonal figure or whatever the fuck, right? For the flowers. Let's go. And they put in the effort. That's definitely commendable. Oh. I don't feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo. Right, uh, okay, so I feel like this is important to mention. That soda on the machine is an actual, like, branded soda. Oh, what? And yeah, that's an actual brand. I forget exactly what it is, but that that's an actual like soda in real life. This is part of Wow, you really went there. I It's not like I wanted to. <laughs> but but yeah, the the this is part of the reason why Legends doesn't get re-released that often is because there's actual copyrighted material in the game. So porting <sighs> that makes it much much harder because of the fact that like you have to deal with all the licensing. Well, okay, so do you actually want to know? I think I, I think I know why. Do you want to know the actual, like, reasoning why they can't just, like, change it and that's it? I think I know where you're going with this, but yeah, go ahead. It Doesn't Sony have a thing on PSN where That is if you, entirely correct, yes. Yeah, uh, so if, if for everyone who doesn't know, when you re-released PS Classics on PS3, Vita, PSP, uh, when you released those you weren't allowed to change any of the information on the disc. So you basically just had to pick a version of the game and just post the ISO to, to like their servers more or less. Right. Uh, right. So because of that, that's why the legends games and I guess Tronbon as well. Don't they oh, cost yeah. like an extra two or three bucks? I believe it's, I forget. I don't know how much the regular games cost, but I know these are like eight bucks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because normally they're like five to six. Yeah, yeah. Depending they, they, on the game. They pretty much, not exactly doubled, but they basically doubled the price because of that. Because it took a lot more negotiations to get the game onto the PS3. And that's why they have trouble re-releasing the games on modern consoles as well. Gotcha. Because you because in the PSP version it's totally a different thing, right? Like correct. Because yes. the the PSP version is a, is an actual port, whereas yeah, it's 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 a port. Yeah. By the way, and, uh, you go to the north if you want to continue. Oh, okay. Uh, north. There we go. Um, because that one's it's not like a remaster. It's literally just the PS One games, but like mild touch ups at most, right? Like. Uh, there's some more major changes, but for the most part, it's a port. Yep. Tron, what's wrong with your head? Why is it so uh -oh. big? Why was it so big? <laughs> but, but yeah, that's, that's why Legends let's, can sometimes be a pain in the butt to port to modern consoles. And it's, it's a shame, really. It's, this is entirely yeah. Sony's fault. It, yeah, it, look, look at the character model, the police officer. He's like, God, he's chonking. Yeah. Unfortunately, I guess that's a side effect of, of running the game in a higher resolution than it was intended. Oops. Yeah, it's funny. It is very funny, yeah. Nintendo would be rolling in their grave. Ouch. <laughs> well, to be fair, Nintendo's not dead, but yes. Jeez. Like, no one's here. What's going on? Where, where's everyone going, bingo? You're right. Huh? Okay, that's a little too forward-thinking. Resident Evil 4 was later, but the console generation later was still. True. Uh, all, technically, I, yes. I don't know about all day, because it's literally been minutes. <laughs> yep. Tron walking in a rhombus. Her <laughs> Tron walking is a rhombus. Oof. Alright, I'm going inside. 
No unauthorized entry. You have business here? I'll give you the business, I swear to God. Hmm. All right. Uh... Oh, wait. You said check trash cans. Yes. Looks different from the ones in the downtown area. Oh, no, you already got the item. It's the uh, the broken motor. Oh, okay. So that's, I already that's got what you were looking for. There's, there's, there's two trash cans with stuff. There's the broken motor, and then if you really want to look for the other one, it's like 10 zenny. It's not really that worth. Uh, so wait, where am I going again? Uh, you want to go to the north gate to City Hall and then go oh. up to the central building. Oh. Got hit by the car. Yep, you gotta be careful. Alright, so yeah, if you go to the central building, you'll, uh, you'll find it. Central building. Wait, can I go in houses? Nope, there's eight. Uh, no. Okay. Why do you have a bench in your yard, you weirdo? Good question. Uh, can I... Knock, knock. Looks like nobody's home. Yeah. I, I, unfortunately, it's not quite like uh, Ocarina of Time where you can go inside the houses. I would have laughed if I'm able to kick in the windows. <laughs> oh, that, ooh, that would be a good idea for, like, a remake. Oh, yeah, for sure. Monsters oh, yeah. here growing yeah. and shrinking in size. Yep. You should be able to, uh, yeah, there you go. Yas Plains? Yas? Yep. Yas. <laughs> Buddy. Alright, so. Yeah, you, you should be able to go to the city hall. Yeah, it told it told me, like, to fuck off if I didn't have business. Oh, that's weird. Hold on. Oh, I didn't talk to them. Right, right, right. Okay, there we go. So, uh, see any good movies lately? <laughs> <laughs> movies and video games do exist in Legends. Oh, why do you look at the screen? What? <laughs> that was Fort ominous Walton. as shit. Hey, <laughs> I know what you did yesterday. Alright, and this is the mayor, Amelia. Why are you talking to me sensually? I'm a, I'm, uh -oh. I'm a kid in a blue suit. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? Yes. What's uh, what's going on with your arm there, Gramps? <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming pirates are after treasure. <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Nah, I'm Captain sure. Hook just wanted some of that fairy action. Yeah, right, right. You might know something about it, Professor. Doesn't know shit. I've been in the digging business a long time. But I haven't been able the digging to know business. anything about this island's treasure except legends and myths. Legends! <laughs> Roll credits! Damn it! I was literally just about to make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to study myths and legends with the mayor. It's like, Grandpa, can you just not for like five minutes? <laughs> All right. It's a oh, dog. it's a dog. <laughs> Why? It's a dog. That's me anytime I'm at the pet store. I am. Yep. I don't know. I don't know, Volnut. That's pretty obvious what's going on here. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? That's a good boy over there. Yep. You mean don't kick the dogs? No. Refrain from dog kicking. <laughs> Fast track to literally rock bottom moral, uh, moral <laughs> standing. But it's true, officer. Oh, she must be a pirate. I don't know about must be, but... To be fair, that assessment is technically correct. Even if I it's mean... a bit stereotypical. <laughs> yeah, right. I was about to say, look, just because she's wearing a skull doesn't mean she's a pirate, okay? 
Even if in this case it, it is technically true. There we go. It was triggering the sound effect, but not the conversation. Yeah. What are you staring at? What are you staring at? You are not a clown. You are the entire circus. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. She, she's a much more broad concept than a clown. <laughs> so, like, is there oh, any way to save her? Clown. I did. It just. Oh, there oh. we go. Okay, there you go. Oof. Okay, hold on. Down, boy. Down. <laughs> oh, by the way, after this, you want to head back to uh, Roll in the Forest. Sure. <coughs> <laughs> okay. Right? Uh, um... Ouch, oh. that's got to hurt. Oh, oh, what, what's go? What, what's a sparkle in your eyes, lady? You, you just mind your own business. Definition of Sunder, Exhibit A. Sunder? It's Sundere. Oh, is that not how you? I did not know that's how you pronounce it. Whoops. Yeah, it's Sundere. Sundere. Okay, noted for future reference. Sunder. That's a thousand times. I didn't know times. how it was pronounced. I've never <laughs> heard it said out loud. I've only. I know how to spell it. Dude, it, it's bruh easy to pronounce it. Br oh, <laughs> I deserved that one. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I, I completely deserve that. Yeah. To to be fair, if you've never heard it actually pronounced, then I can't really blame you. Yeah. I was looking for other garbage cans. I couldn't find any. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the only other garbage can gives you what ten zenny. It's 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 helpful, but it's not something to go out of your way for. Sun D? Uh, no, not Sunny D. Uh, <laughs> look. Hey. <laughs> I, I already forgot about that. <laughs> and I'm so glad yep. I remembered it now. <laughs> We're always open for business no matter what. Oh, this is basically confirming, like, no matter what world-ending apocalypse is happening in the game, you can come to the store. Exactly. Um... It's, it's, if you want to type it in chat, 112, do you know how to spell yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's sundere, which means, like, uh, like, you know, cold on the outside, hot on the inside. So, like, exactly. it, it referring to a personality type of, like, oh, I don't like you, idiot, but, like, actually, it, Helga from Hey Arnold is, like, literally a sundere. Like, a, a, a good example, an, a, a, another good Mega Man example is uh, Luna Pulse from Star Force Landing. Ah, okay, there you go. Uh, okay, wait, shield repair is that just health? Like I, I'm just it, buying it, health. It, uh, so the light, when, when, every time you get hit, you'll lose your life shield. So it's like an extra hit, basically. So that's pretty. Oh, useful. it's a, it's like a Sonic Shield. Then you just get like exactly, one free hit. Yes. Okay. Exactly. How do you okay you triangle to back out of the menu are you monsters um okay Oof. wait why would i not want just the better ones <laughs> like... mostly because they cost Oof. more I suppose. <laughs> hey buddy old pal i decided yeah i decided to stay in my shop because my wife and kids are in danger just for you i know there's <laughs> something Hampton would say in delta <laughs> Okay, for a brief second, I thought that was a bot in the chat. Oh, no, that was my idea. I was about to ban you because I just saw, like, a oh. link, and I, I saw a bunch of words, and they were all jumbled, and I was like, oh, no, that's a bot. Get rid of it. No, no, don't worry. We're, well, we're to be fair, in-universe robots are pretty good, so. Um, okay, so which of these do would you say I could use now? Because, I mean, I got money, um... so... You probably should increase your attack power a little bit. So Power Razor Alpha is pretty good, or Range Booster Alpha. And then uh, Range is yeah, how far range the bullets go, but yes. Energy is the speed of which I shoot, right? I believe so, yes. And then Life Gauge is pretty yeah, self-explanatory. It, exactly it, it literally just gives you an extra hit point. All right. 
Oh, and then I could just always boost that. Right, okay. right, right. Uh, to restore life gain. So this is just a health refill for now? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Similar to an E-Tank. Oh, can I bring it with me then? I I don't think so. I think you have to be at the... Um, oh, wait. Can be refilled at Junk Shop. So yeah. I do take it with me. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, and then it... Yeah, it Adds yeah, and then uh, that points adds to the canteen. Your... Okay. Yes. So it's, it's not quite like the sub tanks from Mega Man X, but it's similar in concept. The only difference is that you can't refill it using health pickups. Instead, you refill it at the junk shop. Yeah, it's more like a sub tank than an E tank. That, that's a better comparison from yeah. the X series. Actually, there's a there's a portion in uh, Mega Man ZX Advent where you can do this exact thing where you can buy uh, sub tank energy at a shop. I do not know why that was in none of the previous Zero ZX games, but it's pretty nice. Although I guess I guess the reasoning for that is because in ZX specifically, there's a very easy sub tank refill at the very beginning of the game, but still. And I can sell parts I don't want, right? Yeah, exactly. And then you'll get right. Zenny back. Um, I don't need rapid plus one, right? Like they, that's uh, I don't not when that. I not when I have these two, right? So right, right. Oh, and then motor I keep. But yes. What if I were to sell people. that? What would happen? <laughs> I don't know if you can get that back. You might Oof. be able to if you if you get if you check the same uh, trash can again, but I don't remember. So I would recommend keeping that. Yeah, let's not risk shit, so. Right, so yeah, now you want to go back to our role. Let's see if I can... Oof! There we By go. the way, the pirate ships that were flying in the um, uh, during the cutscene with Tron are called Drakis. Drakis. Another example of okay. Drakis. It's D R A C H E S. I don't remember exactly how it's pronounced, but I think it's Drakis or something like that. Gotcha. And all those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Up in a wee. Oh, look at her head, it's so big! Oh boy. <laughs> the Rebound Can. It's predecessor to Rebound Striker from Mega Man 10. <laughs> you, can, you can see her morph me to me. Oh god, low poly roll is, is slightly cursed. <laughs> Hang on. Can someone get a screenshot of that? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, someone <laughs> clip this. <laughs> there, there we go. I got plenty of footage of it. Where's Gramps? Uh, yeah, about legends and myths. Yeah, those are Drakis. I think it's like Yeah. That is how it's pronounced? Okay. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Oh, there's two. Oh, uh, this looks bad. <laughs> oh, there, oh, now no. there's five. Leaked Legends <laughs> beta model. Oh, no. Uh, what do you think, Roll? Oh, no, they're attacking the city. Yeah. Crap. Oof. Mega Man, I'm going to go make sure he's all right. Ape is in the monkey. Uh, you don't have a weapon, Roll. Oh, she turned into low poly roll. Yep. Come back. Well, to, to be fair, if it's anything like classic series rolls, you can use a broom, I suppose. Oh, energy is how many shots I can fire at once. Yeah. Okay. There we go. 
I, I love how in uh, Mega Man Powered Up, you can defeat even oh, you can defeat every boss using the broom. So yes, even the yellow devil can be defeated using a broom. Yo, let's go. Man is a back of steel, he's fine. That is true. Yeah, that's that's true, yeah. Nice shot. Oh, there we okay. go. Thank you. I'm I'm imagining the Wii Sports announcer. Nice shot. Jungle Eagle. <laughs> Why don't you save? Yeah, you, you definitely want to save because there's a boss coming up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Try going in front of her? Oh, what happens oh. if I go What happens uh, if I, I went in front of her? Out a little bit. No, nothing too major. Oh, okay. I just, you know, I wanted the money, so I had to grab it, you know? Money. What money? She will barge yeah, into you like it. <laughs> That's funny. It's just a glitch. Hold it right there. You okay. Can't go in there. Uh, Why? Closed off. Why? Please, officer, let us through. Our grandfather's in there and... I have a gun for an arm. Yeah, true. It's dangerous. <laughs> oh yeah, not like I do this for a living. Those pirates have attacked the island. Just like they said they would. <laughs> Why didn't you listen? Just like she said they would. Enough talk. You have to leave. Well, if you anticipated this, why didn't you do something better? Hmm. I wonder if that is a commentary on society. I see. Legends is ahead of its time. Exhibit Z, I guess, at this point. Z. <laughs> There's so many. Yep. Mega Man, I'm going with you. Oh man, if if you play Battle Network, you're literally gonna run out of letters about how how much the game predicted real life. Like you're gonna have to start going to Greek letters. <laughs> like I, I remember I saw a, a news story recently that said oven suddenly explodes going? like that was connected to the internet that is literally the very first scenario in battle network one <laughs> i was like holy crap battle network really did predict modern society let's go oh yep okay so here's the here's the second boss fight of the game the uh bloom bear mechs You could tie anything back to Mega Man. Yep. I mean, it's already tied to Mega Man. So there. We'll be a big trouble if we let anyone through. They're gonna punish us. Oh no. We're gonna give you the key. Oh, thanks for telling me you have a key. Yep. See, so, yeah. you can tie anything back to Mega Man. I know, right? Mission it's both start. It's a blessing and a curse. Uh, they can pass it back and forth between them. Oh, Smash Man! So you, it's basically oh. saying you have to defeat all three of them. Yeah. Red is built for combat, blue is for speed, yellow for endurance. If you uh, can, try running up and using the splash mines on them, because that'll kill one of them pretty quickly. Oh, oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Alright, now, unfortunately for the other two, you do have to just run and chase them down. Y you mean battle and chase. Alright, good call, actually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> See, I know my Mega Men. <laughs> yep. Steve Jobs Technology Mailman Mega Man. <laughs> Who's Steve Jobs? <laughs> That's See, such I a good bit. I understand that reference. Oh, f oh. Yeah, you might you, remember. Don't get run over by them because that does quite a lot of damage. There you go. Yeah, the splash mines are definitely the ideal weapon for this. And there you go. You got it. So yeah, you you can get lucky with like defeating the robots, but sometimes you need to be careful. <laughs> All right, and then, yeah, right after that is this guy, the Feldy Knot. Oh, my God. Why is it flashing blue? Oh, it's oh, on the screen. Sure okay, yeah. Oh, what happens this time? I can't take my eyes off 
All right, so yeah, this one's being commanded by the one and only Tron Bond. Slight spoilers for the name, I guess, but come on. Oh, uh, no. So once again, you'll want to use the Splash Mine. Um, but the strategy here is pretty straightforward. Just dodge the attacks and just try to shoot at the, shoot at the legs as much as you can. Mm -hmm. um, and then when, it's, when it puts its legs together, it's going to use like a fire attack, and then you can just unleash the mines on it and destroy it. Yeah. Oh. Tron being Sundere again. See, now I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Digital head pads. <laughs> yes. Ligma, yes. Oh, if, you're, if your laptop starts flashing blue, that might be a problem. Oh. Yeah, right. Oh my god, this music is fucking Ape Escape right now. What is this? Yep, Le Legends' this music is quite... Quite awesome. It is. I love how Volnut's like, what the hell are you talking about? Shut up! <laughs> Tron's real pissed. Do you know what you've done? Huh? You're a lot dumber. Oh my god. god. He's These doing faces. the goddamn hand gesture. Oh, 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 oh. Legends 2. Ah, uh, no, I'm sorry, Landy. I disagree. I think Legends 1's soundtrack is better. Oh. No, nah, I'm sorry. Is this gonna be the whole play? Shut up! Yes. <laughs> is this gonna be the whole playthrough as you and Landy arguing about that? About Legends 1 versus 2? Maybe. No, I will, I, I will give Landy credit. Legends 2 does some things much, much better. Yeah. Be better than Legends 1. Hmm. I think the story is a lot better in Legends 2, that's for sure. Okay, so yeah, this this one, when it puts its legs together, yeah, splash mine. Besides that, uh, you mostly just want to shoot it. Oh. Oh, uh, wait till it puts its legs together to use the splash mine. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that thing homes in on me? Yep. Oh! Oh, oh, oh boy. You might, oh. Yeah, you might need an energy refill. Okay, uh, how do I use that? Um... Should be under normal items, if I recall correctly. There you go. Oh, no, not that. Maybe special items? It might be in a Oof. different, uh, might be in a different, uh, there you go. Life fully recharged. Okay. Yep. And you're almost, you almost got it, so you should be fine. I love how even the bombs have skulls on them. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, shield, the shield repair you do have to keep buying over and over, so be careful when you use that. Alright, you got it, you got it. Yeah, victory! look at that. <laughs> victory <Ooh>. screech! <laughs> oh, Tron, not looking good. Crispy. Um, I'm so no comment. Not bad. You're stronger than I thought. I'll give you credit for that. Smug, despite literally... being literally covered in soot. Yeah. Uh, she's like, not bad. You're stronger than I thought. I literally just threw bombs at you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like. Get in quick, right? <laughs> Get in quick, right? It's not over yet. Don't think you've won. Next time, I won't be so easy on you. I'll make sure you pay for this. All right. Next uh, time. you might want to head towards the skull marked gate at this point. Once the cut yeah, starts. probably. Yeah, there Ada is monk. All right, now for the next question, answer no. What? Oh, didn't ask that. Um. Okay, so save first, and then speak with him, and then when you speak with him, say no to the upcoming question. Oh, why? What happens? Oh, oh don't tell. Uh, don't, I'll tell don't, you don't, in don't, don't. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll find out. Okay, tell me. 
What should I do? Yeah. Probably attack from the sky. Do you have any buster parts that let you fire at so long yeah, range? Say no. Oh, that's no good, Mega Man. Better start planning ahead. I thought you might not have something like that yet, so I picked it up for you at the junk store. Here. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Monkey. If you say yes, he'll actually take something away from you. What? What does he take? Um. I forget exactly what it is, but I think he takes away the range booster alpha if you have it. So, don't do that. So, exactly what he just gave me. Yes. Not really. Okay, then give that back. What? You told me to... Yep. You said if you say yes, he takes it. Oh. Oh, I, oh okay, I forgot. He takes it regardless, but it's still funny. Why does he take it at all? Oof. Why don't you save? Give me my fucking range booster. <laughs> I hate it when that happens, when the Octomech just dies. Yeah, that, that kind of bad. Yes, Data is a menace to society. <laughs> and that's why we love him. You better start planning ahead. Yep, okay. There's. This is some Ocarina of Time shit right here. Yep. You can't make the text go faster. Good um, luck, then. When you're ready, you... Yeah! Uh, I get to keep it now. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Uh, when you're ready, go through the gate. And you'll have a... Spoiler alert, another boss. This... this They, they put a lot of bosses in a row for some reason. Yeah. He stole that? Oh, no. You're are that the mysterious group of pirates will continue its offensive for the foreseeable future. Recapping it is pretty mischievous, so that I wouldn't put it past him. Afternoon, the city center was attacked by a group of unknown pirates who demanded they be given the keys to the caves and tunnels underneath our island. I'm sorry, lady, but if you get shot, I, I in the middle of literal pirates and <laughs> giant robots, I'm, I'm going to question your life choices of doing this. They're yeah, right. I like how the logo looks like it was made in MS Paint. Yeah. I've just been handed this update, viewers. <laughs> this Justin. That the robots and machines being used to lay siege to the city have been destroyed by a single young boy. And now, <laughs> that same boy has come through the gate and is heading towards. Defy all laws of catastrophe. Oh, I <laughs> so wish that was true in real life. In video games, that's true, but man, the, the reporters who actually like go out there and report on legitimately scary situations, kudos to you all. You all the real MVPs. Yeah, right? Let's go. Red robots attack City Hall, yellow attack nearest building, protect City Hall, police station, and the bank from the pirates. Yep. I will do no such thing. I will throw <laughs> bombs at them instead. So these these bosses are the my I forgot how to pronounce these. It's the Myberu Hoggins, I think is what they're called, and then the horn the horny forget how to pronounce this. Or run east, I believe is how you pronounce it. But basically you you want to try killing the flying robots first, and then yeah, after that blow up the tanks. Because the flying robots are uh, very annoying. Uh -oh. oh no. So the game wants you to think, yeah, because the tanks destroy the city, and, and yeah, as as Lenny will indicate, you want to try and protect the city as much as possible. Now, granted, no matter what you do, there will be sections of the city that are destroyed. Period. But you definitely want to try and minimize it because it will definitely hurt in the long run. Does the mission start complete look a lot like Star Fox text? Uh, it's not impossible. I mean, yeah, it, like, like it I really said, does. Yeah, you know, Le Legends takes inspiration. I would say major the majority of which is from like the Zelda series, but there's definitely some other series that it takes inspiration from as well. All right. Oh. Oh. 
Yes. Be careful about the contact damage. Yeah, the tanks you definitely want to use the splash mine on. Uh-oh. Alright, when, when all of them are dead, the uh, next cutscene will play. Hmm. And, and yeah, I, if you look up the text for, like, Star Fox 64, the mission complete text is very similar. Yeah. Alright, where am I going now? Alright, there, oh. Oh, uh, yeah, you want to kill the other tanks and the flying machines. There you go. Uh-oh. Watch your uh, special weapon gauge a little bit. Nice. All right, clean, keeping it clean. All right, where is? You, I think you're only missing like one or two. You should be able to find. I, I'm gonna guess they're flying enemies, but yeah, there it is. There you go. That guy yet? I, I, I literally can't aim up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there you go. I think once you kill that guy, you should be good, because the the cutscene plays when you killed all the enemies. And that flying guy should be it. The, uh, just something going up. The, uh... Alright, alright, come on now. Yeah, the Hor the Horonis are the flying air, air, air carriers. Oh, this guy over here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, boy. Oh, there's two of them. Watch out for contact damage. You're, you're almost at a special weapon energy, so you might want to be a little bit careful. That uh, bar on the right represents the special weapon gauge. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find... Yeah, you might still have one or two left. And remember, the flying enemies do count towards that, so that one guy that was flying around, you, you do need to kill him, too. I guess kill him. Wherever he is, I don't know. Should be decently close. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this is why I recommended killing the flying enemies first, because I think they keep dropping the grounded ones. There you go. And yeah, they're being piloted by serve bots. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, try to pick up some more of the flying machines and you should be good. I think I saw at least one more Horonis flying. Mm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, because they'll, they'll keep dropping... Uh... Yo? Oh, wow. Double kill. Nice. That should be all the flying enemies, but... Alright, now then. Yeah, there you go. Oh, stop destroying that street lamp! Yep. Oh, come on now. Quit yeah. messing with me. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now I saw one around right, here. here. There, there we go. go. Might be the last one, because I didn't see any others. There you go. Yep, music stopped. There you go. All right. All 
right. At this point, uh, I think you have to return to City Hall. Oh, no. There you go. All right, so yes, there's another boss fight. Like I said, this part of the game is Jeez. very boss fight. This is Bon Bon. <laughs> I love how he devotes so much time to just punching his, a street lamp. Yeah. Babu. So this this guy, there's not really a strategy to him, just yeah. By the way, if you want to dodge the homing missiles, running towards him will make him miss. Yep. And for the record, I, obviously you, you can't do this at the moment because you don't have any energy, but the splash mine doesn't do anything. It's, it's basically useless for his life. Which makes yeah. sense because he's a flying enemy. Yeah. Oh! Ooh! Clap! I thought it uh, gave me the clap. There you go. Woo! -hoo. Oof. Bye, bye, Bon Bon. Are you all right? Uh, are you all right, Babu? <laughs> Babu. All right. So here's the Bon family ship, the Gessel Shaft, and this is easily okay. one of the best characters in the series, Teasel Bon. This fucking hair. Drives me crazy. I know, right? <laughs> what the hell happened to Bon Bon? They should have been up by now. But he's too weak. Nope, I told them they were in charge, so I won't worry. I'll let them take care of it themselves. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's personality is just on point. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he turns on the news and it immediately just talks about his family getting fucked. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Look at this fucking joke. <laughs> I, I love Teasel. He's hilarious. He's great. This voice actor's going wild, and I love it. I know, right? All right, it's obvious that I, Teasel Bond, will have to assume command. Who needs that key anyway? It won't take any time, and it might take some money, but who cares? I'll use my ultimate digging machine, the Borrow Mills, to dig up the treasure myself, and I won't let any little blue boy get in my way either. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're a riot. I love them. The, the Mission are... complete. You did it, Mega Man. Come on, let's go look for Gramps. Yeah, swag walk. Let's go. Yes. So, is Mega Man supposed to be spelled as one name or two? Good question. So, it depends on the series. In pretty much 80 to 90% of the instances, it's two words. However, in very specific circumstances, like for example, Mega Man.exe is one word. Okay. But, in, 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 like I said, in most circumstances, other than that specific character, and Mega Man Volnut, I believe, is also technically one word. It's, it's gotcha. two words. I know it's not much, but it's the least I can do. Yeah, when I will admit, I do internally cringe when people refer to classic Mega Man with one word, because that's not that's not accurate. Mm. Your Honor, we got a new problem. 
A new problem. If you damage the city in that mission, the audio changes to mission complete? Yeah, so if, if, if too much, if, if you really screw up and they destroy almost the entire city, then, yeah, the game basically tells you that. <laughs> it's funny, though. Yeah, this game was so ahead of its time. But yes, now you have the B-Class license, and that'll allow you to go to other areas. In particular, mm. uh, Portals 2 and 3, which would be the Cardan Forest and the Yas Plains. Yas. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if the inspector will be all right. Nope. Uh, I'll have to make sure we get to the ruins before the pirates do. I'm sure they won't leave much by the time they're done. I don't know. I mean, true. With a Class B digger's license, you, you can get into the ruins, or in the Cardon Forest to the south, and the ruins up north in Closer Woods, yeah, where the pirates are now. You got it. Ugh, jeez. I'm going with you. Okay. Could have just said that. Yep. Look, Mega Man. All right. So now Roll's gonna tell you about the support car. Basically, you can call the support car and return to town from. I'm gonna say almost everywhere in the game. There are exceptions to this. Like mm -hmm. you can't do this in a dungeon, obviously, but. Majority of the time you can use the car and that'll let you go downtown mm. That'll that'll uh, that'll let you like save or whatever. Oh, okay. That makes sense That'd be pretty funny if it could drive into the dungeon though. Yeah, right Screw you just, boss. I'm gonna run just you blast over. through the ceiling <laughs> Yeah. Mission impossible style Alright, so you should get the walkie-talkie. If you find some parts that you think might be useful, bring them back to me. I'll get them fixed. Alright, so yeah, Roll's basically indicating if you get certain parts, then you can bring them to her and get another special weapon. This is the first, like, optional special weapon, if I recall correctly. Gotcha. Um, I think you already have it. I'm just gonna look. Do you have the Bloom Bear parts? Uh, probably not. And then I, I have a broken motor. Uh, check under special items real quick. Uh, it doesn't look like it. All right, well, the bloom bear parts aren't too hard to find. They're in one of the trash cans in the northwestern block of downtown. Uh, wait, where's the... Ah! ah watch the cars! <laughs> I'm never going to get used to that. Yeah, um, if you go to the... Northwestern part of downtown, you'll see the like a couple of trash cans. Check one of those, and you'll uh, you'll grab the bloom bear parts, and that'll let you make another weapon. Uh, wait, is this northwest? This is north, so west. Um... Well, you're going to downtown. Not not you're not going. I don't think downtown is northwest, but like you're going your final destination. Oh, okay. not Smash Bros. is Northwest Downtown, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying it's not Smash Bros. <laughs> I, I know there's like a movie called Final Destination, but come on. To, to most gamers, that's that's a Smash Bros. reference. True. Yeah, as, as Landy indicates, you can get a new special weapon called the Machine Gun, and it's pretty decent. It's not like the best weapon in the game, but it's decent. Oh. Yeah, wa watch the cars. All right, so around this area somewhere, you should be able to find a trash can with the parts. That might be it. There Boom you go. Bear. So yeah, take that to roll, and then you can uh, make it make some. Oh, uh oh, watch the cars. I'm never gonna watch these cars. It's so <laughs> much funnier to not do it. That's true. <laughs> Getting hit by the cars is pretty funny. Alright, so, uh, wait, where's she at? Is she, oh, where it was parked before outside that first dungeon yeah. there? Although you can also call the car by using the walk. Oh, oh, damn it! <laughs> God, okay, how do I, how do I uh, call her? 
It might be in special items. No? No. You should you should be able to find the hmm. She gave you that, right? Yeah. Oh god. Landy, do you remember where it is? Because I know you can You should be able to find the walkie-talkie in, in your item somewhere. Try going back to where he was, I suppose. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk there first. But I, I know for a fact that you can use the walkie-talkie and um like call the van from pretty much anywhere in the game. Like I said, the only the only real exceptions. Oh, you gotta go to her first? Okay, fair enough. But yeah, for, for the majority of the game, you can you can use the walkie-talkie to uh, call her and like refill on your health or whatever. The only exceptions are the dungeons, basically. No! All right, there we go. And then, yeah, nice shot. Yeah. Keep our streets clean. Put trash in its proper place. <clears throat> I know this came like the back of my hand. Hell yeah, let's go. Yep. Very helpful if you uh, two didn't. Then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Landy's one of the of our Mega Man's resident legends experts, along with uh, Black Yoshi as well. So. Oh, nice, Mr. Mega Man. Trip and fall, do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> officers who were sent to arrest the pirates. Well, you see, they were faced with heavy resistance, and well, um, you see, this is hard to say, but they were uh, beaten back. That is to say, mm -hmm. they were defeated very badly. You see, good. And uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, well, please help us. <laughs> you all deserve it. <laughs> I am the is funny there, legends is there, man. Is there a game where the cops aren't incompetent? Let's be real. Uh, mm, not that I can think of. I mean, in Mega Man 9, you can literally fight one of them, because Fake Man is a secret boss. Good. He's, uh... He's the DLC stage, uh, the special level. That stage is pretty difficult, by the way. Whew, that was that was quite the challenge. But yeah, at the end, you fight Fake Man, who's a fake police robot, and his weakness is Jewel Satellite. Uh, now that I've got the support car fixed up, let me tell you about what I can do for you from here. Yeah, okay? now he's going to give you the walkie-talkie. And yeah, you, you can only use one special weapon at a time, so you can take one of them, but when you want to switch, you do have to call the car. It's not quite like special weapons in the classic series, but it's pretty close. And then we can and enhance you your weapons here. Weapons. Yeah. This is very useful because the weapons in this game, when you start upgrading them to the very high levels, they absolutely demolish the game's bosses. The final weapon in this game is mm -hmm. so busted that it can destroy the final boss in under 30 seconds. It is crazy. <laughs> You love to hear it, though. I know when yeah. I originally let's played this, uh, I don't know if this is the specific weapon. I don't think it is. Um, but uh, it's like a rapid-fire grenade launcher. Like, where it's it not essentially... The, uh, it's, it's not, not the, the one... Weapon, but that, that one's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Walkie-talkie. So, yeah, very good. It's walkie-talkie. So, yeah, from now on, you can just call the car from almost everywhere. So, the only exception, really, is the dungeons. All right. Um, how you doing, Roll? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, enhance. You might want to build up the. Uh, oh yeah. So talk to her, and you should be able to get the machine buster. I don't know if you got that yet. Long. Okay. So yeah, I, w I would recommend uh, special weapons. Or yeah. A limited amount of ammo at the same time that they're much stronger than your normal buster gun. The only disadvantage is that you can only equip one at a time. Okay. Well. Good. 
there should be a dialogue option for you to uh, create the machine buster, and you could definitely do that. Okay. Um, item development. Yeah, there you go. Uh, ta-da! Yep. Really so high fire like rate, but not great in terms of power, so you might have to put some thought into how to use it. Okay. Uh, what else? Anything? I don't. I don't think so. Yeah. Wing, 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 wing. All right. Now, now's a good time to start upgrading some of your weapons. Yeah. All right. So change. I want machine. Yeah. I mean, I feel like upgrading the weapons could be at least a little useful. You don't have to upgrade a lot of them all the way, but like a little bit could be useful. Uh. Yeah, the as Landy indicates, there's gonna be a future special weapon that is very, very strong. So definitely save some money, but upgrading the other ones can be useful for this upcoming dungeon. And. Oh, for 10,000, I'm good on that. Um, yeah, let's say, say definitely save a, a lot of money for the uh, the upcoming one, but yeah, attack could be useful in the machine buster if you can. I do rapid because that means more bullets, right? Like, yeah, is... sure, sure. Just I, I would say keep 10,000 because yeah, the, the, the upcoming weapon you're gonna get is very strong. Or maybe the range would be more helpful, you know? Uh, up to you. Rapid is good, is good at the moment. Oh, it, the amount I have is good at the moment. Okay, I'll, I'll just do range then. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so. Five hours later. Uh, yeah. At this point, you should mine? be good. You should be good to uh, leave the car and head. Oh yeah, save first and then head south. Oh, Data, look at your little yeah, plus yeah. hands. They're so cute. Yep. Save complete. All right. Good monkey. Give Data. Eve. <laughs> it's so cute. Your body clips into yourself. Yeah. All right, so yeah. At this point, you should try heading south, and then you should be able to reach... I stop moving when I try to save you. True. You should be able to reach uh, the portal number two. The first portal was the tutorial. What are you doing out here, hat guy? I heard there's some ruins around here, but oh, I'm geez. real bad with directions, see? And I can't seem to find them. Why not? There oh, this one? Right here? Yep, that's one. Oh, wrong button. Dog walked in. Everyone say hi to Al. He's a good boy. Hello. I figure I have limited ammo, so I'm not gonna start using yeah. the machine gun right now. Yep. Alright. There is no boss in this dungeon, but there's some good stuff if you can find it. Uh, you know what? Here. Okay. Oh. Okay, come on now. Come on, baby. Oh. Oh my god, that just tears them apart. Let's go. Yep, it's it's a good weapon. It, it'll it'll be outclassed eventually, but for right now it's quite quite useful. Ooh, big blue. Yep. Go. To be specific, there's really two. Uh, oh, ooh, sorry. There's really two chests in this dungeon that you're looking at. I'll put it out. Oh. 
Uh, are there any, like, uh, oh, hydrate. Okay, you got it. Oh, yeah, there's, it, it's a, there's a, <laughs> you want to make this stream feel like a one one two stream. Yeah, they, <laughs> it, it, people like to very frequently use the hydrate command because I have a giant water bottle that I drink from. <laughs> we, we call it the comically oversized water bottle or cowb. Uh, let's go. Yep. Maybe for I April Fools, I'll, uh, maybe for April Fools, I'll send you an even larger one in the mail. Oh God, I don't know if there even is a larger one because the one I have is like two liters or something like that. Oh, it's I'll send you one that's big. like three gallons or some shit like that. Oh God, oh God, I don't even know where I would store that. Oh God, oh God. Yeah, this this room can be a little bit of a doozy. Yeah, I can understand why, Landy, because this this guy comes out of nowhere. Never went back into the ruins again because of it. Well, to be fair, these ruins aren't required to beat the game, but like I said, you can definitely get some really good stuff in this. I mean, you'll have to come back here eventually, but like right right now, there's there's nothing like super required. Oh. oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, you gotta you got be careful. This guy is pretty strong. Oh! You fucking just turned yeah. on me, bro. Oh, you don't ever need to come here. Okay. For some reason, I thought you were turning later in the game. I was probably thinking of a different one. Yeah, this is where you would... There's a really strong weapon here that you're gonna want to get. There, There is something else in the ruins, but I won't quite spoil it yet. Honestly, if you don't get the second thing, it's not a huge deal, but uh, yeah, the special weapon, you definitely want to get that, because it's very, very helpful. Yeah, Lenny's recommending you run instead. I mean, it's up to you. If you are too deep in, in your opinion, you can definitely kill it, but it's, it, does, it is pretty strong. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, be careful. God, this is rough nuts, dude. There Yo. you go. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, you got a decent amount of zenny from that. How much did I got? Yo, I'm already above what I had originally. Let's go. Yeah, there you go. Did you find any treasure chests yet? Or I don't think so. No. I, I saw one, but I'm still working my way around to it. Yeah, yeah, fair. There's definitely one treasure chest you just straight up can't get yet. It's on a pretty high ledge, but other than that, there's two more you can get. Oh, watch the Paracos. Are there any, uh, like, classic Mega Man enemies, or no? Uh, no. This is the only series where Metars just straight up don't appear. Oof. Yeah, those do a lot. Yeah, very clearly. Um, oh, oh uh -oh. wait, oh, so he, uh, what's his to, name doesn't have, refill it, okay. No, you have to go back to the shop and buy it, so you might want to be careful at this point. Go. All right, gotta play big, yep. no riskies right now. Yeah. Ooh! He went for yeah, me, the dude. Reason, the reason I know the Harakos is because they appear in uh, Namco X Capcom as like generic enemies. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, Any is well worth it. Though. Oh, I don't know if you can hear this, but there's a bunch of people. There's like a, some sort of concert, I guess, happening outside my dorm. So I apologize if there's any noise. Oh no, you're you're good, dude. Yeah, th this is this is definitely a smart tactic at this low health. You don't hear it? That's good. Yeah, yeah, you definitely you can definitely use this tactic so you don't explode. Oh jeez! I wanted the money. <gasps> oh. 
Oh! By the way, those flaming wheels in, are look like that intentionally. They're supposed to be a reference to the <gasps> Yakichi item. Oh my god! Alright, so yeah, there you go. Is that the, uh... Okay, that's still useful, but that's not quite what you're looking for. There's, a, there's another treasure chest in the, in the dungeon that contains the next special weapon, which is very powerful. Alright, got some health. We're doing better. All right, the cannon kit doesn't show up here? What? No, not that weapon. The other, the power buster. Or I guess it's not a weapon. That's more of a part. But yeah, you definitely want that. Oh, you can't, you can get something in here. Maybe I was thinking of something else. Um, why, did it, why did it just stop? <laughs> I don't know. Here? I mean, I'll take it. I'm not complaining, but... Oh, okay, Sorry. yeah. You get something else, but there's a hole on the right side of the room, and... Oh, in the room I was just in? Yeah. Good. Yeah, and there's, there's something in there. Oh, the sitting enemies control it. Okay, so when I destroy yeah. those, it just, like, goes... And yeah. Like, there's a hole in here? Yeah, there should be a hole over... Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's in the next room, not this one. My apologies. Oh, it's all good, it's all good. We're chilling, we're chilling. In, in this room, there's a hole, and if you if you investigate that, you'll find something useful. Oh, okay, I see the hole over there, so let's... Yeah, there you go, there you go. Oh, well, okay, there's really not much to do in here other than go down, so I guess I will. Check the hole. So you'll find something called the old shield in here. Old shield. Let's go. And then the last thing to do here is you go to the right. There's a chest. Be careful because it's a it's the uh what would gimmick. But there's something pretty good if you defeat it. All right. Shield arm is eh. Oh yeah, you 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 eventually will use that to create another part. Okay. Good in there. Go here. Watch out for the chest because it is a, a mimic. Oh, there's or, a chest that's what, a mimic. Okay. Yeah. I I don't know what it's explicitly called in Legends, but you get the idea. So yeah, that one over there. Uh, this one. So watch it. It, it, it. It's a mimic. I think you have to investigate it first, but then like back up so you don't get hit. There you go. Watch it. All right. Um, if you go to the opposite ledge, you can open that for something, and then once you get that, you should exit the ruins. There you go. All right. So there's something in there, and then once you get that, uh, oh, watch it. You don't want to fall off. There you go. Yeah, I know, I know. So there's Buster. the buster. All right, you're good. Now you can exit the ruins. Oh, okay. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Like I said, these are these are optional, but like the items here will be pretty useful later, and one of yeah. them is required for a uh, special weapon. Oh shit! That deals damage. Okay. Yep, be careful. Well, it kind of worked out because I ended up getting health out of it, so... Right, right. So what about some of those chests on the cliff that were... Oh, like... you will be able to get those later, but you don't have the parts needed to go up there yet. Okay, Gritch. Yeah, at this point, the goal is to, as we, as they say in Metroid, escape. Uh. 
Yo, real talk. I don't, I don't know how far you are into... Uh... Oh, no, wait. Did you beat Metroid Dread? Yeah, I've beaten Dread. Uh, okay. Just that... be aware that... Don't get too deep into spoilers in case I, I won't. Watching. I, I was just going to say the escape music in Dread is very good. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, Grinch? Right. Oh, so I have a long-running gag with a friend of mine where it's, I've, I say the word gotcha all the time. Like, oh, I gotcha. But... It, it eventually just devolved to the point where I just say <laughs> random words. So now I'll just be like, oh, crustacean. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's much more entertaining like that. So if I just say random bullshit like that, it's because I'm saying, oh, I understand. <laughs> All right. So at this point, you should probably use the walkie talkie to refill your weapon and weapons and uh, health and whatnot. And then after that, uh, Head towards City Hall, and then you should be able to go through the northern gate to the Yas Plains. <laughs> I know. I'm never going to get over that. It's so funny. Yeah. You're still beating Super Metroid? Oh, enjoy yourself, Landy. It is an all-time classic. It's, it's it has fun. A, yeah, that's fair. It, there's definitely parts of it that have just straight up not aged well. The wall jumping is pretty garbo, for example. It's awful, even. I yeah, it's... <laughs> Oof, it's it's bad, but I, I in my opinion at least by and large the game is aged pretty well and still an enjoyable experience. Ah uh, yes, I see. I see. Mockballing. I think that's What's a Metroid term. That's definitely uh, not something in weapons. I, I don't know what mockballing is. Oh okay, oh. he's trying to sequence break. Okay. Uh, oh grunge. Okay. Um. So do I talk to the mayor? Uh, no, I believe you just want to head north to the, uh, yeah, just head to the Yas Plains. Yo, you know what? Hang on. I want to head to, uh, the fucking, uh, what is it? Oh, the shop. Yes. Good idea. Good yeah, idea. yeah, 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 yeah. And refill your, uh. Wait, is that just the next stop? Uh, it's, oh, it's not down one, it's like down two, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just can't turn into a ball in time. Gotcha. Yeah, the, the, the sequence breaking tricks are intentionally made, not super difficult, but at least challenging enough that most first time players can't pull it off. So that, because sequence breaking is mostly supposed to be a, uh, repeat playthroughs type of thing where on mm -hmm. when you start playing the game more frequently then you'll start to realize oh but i can actually do this and this and then i can skip these parts of the game like for example in metroid dread you can actually skip the first emmy sequence entirely if you know what you're doing that's actually pretty cool yeah and then of course there's the at this point famous craid skip which i won't get too far into but it's pretty cool yeah yeah for sure I like how they reward the player for doing that. I know, right? <laughs> 600 bucks? Crazy ooh. ass lady. Uh, ooh, blast unit? Oh, hang on. This is some good shit here? Hang on. Uh, Wait, isn't this just objectively better than... What? Versus the... Well, yeah, but again, it costs more. That's the offset. So, we want to spread gotcha. for it. Yeah, it's pretty useful. You just gotten his butt kicked too many times. Yeah, and then and, and if you get something that outclasses something else, just sell it because you won't need it anymore. Flak like jacket. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, that could be that could be nice. That's like half my money. Yeah, and like I said, you do wanna you do wanna save it for the powered buster that you're getting eventually. That's so it's really up to you if you think it's uh useful enough. You know what? Here, hang on. I'm gonna equip. Uh... Yeah. Wait. Do I want the range booster? Not really. I just I want to hit shit. You know, like. You you can sell that then. I mean, you can, that's something you can always buy back. Oh, okay. I can. All right. Invest in power. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, so I have a I have a guide pulled up on my on my sidebar in case I want to reference something in case I get something wrong. 
The flat jacket is very useful. I would highly recommend getting that. So I, I would I would definitely get the flat jacket in that case. Uh, parts or item? Yeah. Yeah. All right, flat jacket. Thank yeah, you. The, the, the tanks do quite a lot of oh damage. Oh my god! What? Uh, uh, you don't need the Kelvar jacket yet. You you'll want it later. Yeah. All right, and then. Sell parts. Oh wait, what do I have equipped currently? Uh, rate <sighs> the razor and the blast unit. That's what I have right, right now. So, so sell parts. Oh, it's the you top. Have basic necessity like eating. Yes, of course, the same thing. And drinking, and data. I'm guessing. Oh, okay. And playing. I, I knew the third thing was going to be a joke. I thought you were going to say data, but sure. Yes, playing legends too as well. I don't need anything else for now. Yeah, I'm good. Wait a minute. Oh, what are you doing robot? here? I have, I have to buy some parts to fix my robot. Well, to be fair, we did trash it, so... I mean, <laughs> maybe don't try to take over towns. Right, of course. Shoutouts to Apple Market, just fucking killing it in the sound department. The soundtrack in this game is so good. Well, what right, am I fucking doing? Point. I'm on drugs right now. Hang on. And then in this case, yeah. You want to go towards uh, the north gate, towards the Yas Plains. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, just behind so you know, City Hall. Yeah, we have about five-ish minutes left. I can go a little bit over time, but not too much more than that. So I would say oh, we can probably do this next section, and then we can stop. All right, is there a save point within the next section, or should if we can just save uh, now and yes. call it, that'd probably be better. Um, I'm just looking ahead real quick. Uh, no, there's a save point coming up. There's a, there's a pretty good stopping point, so we can go a little bit further. Okay, sure, sure. So we have like a. A little bit of wiggle room, but just, you know, make it quick. Yeah, exactly. Look at the police officer. Hey, it's that blue guy again. It's that blue guy again. That blue guy. Looks like we killed that officer. Oh, they, they definitely did. You didn't even destroy him. Oh, oh, now you did. Hell yeah. Good say, serve, bots. You might want to take that back. Oh, wait, it's our thumbnail. Yep. Shooting down those serve bots. Oof. Oof. Goodbye. Extra crispy. Oh my god. By the way, if you go up to the uh, hill on the east side, you're, you're able to find some bomb launchers. And that might be useful. Some what? Bomb launchers. Hang oh, on, I, everyone. I, 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 yeah. Gotta talk to this guy. In the history, In the history of this island. Uh, do do any of you have anything useful to say? Pirates' weapons are too strong. We can't get close. It'll only be a matter of time before they find the treasure. Gotta do something. But what can we do? And we'll figure it out later. Bye. Yeah. Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay. Yeah. Not yet. You should be able to find a uh, hill to the east with the bomb launchers, and then... Yeah, I think it's this one. Right here? I think so. Refractor? Oh, Fracture starts pretty good. Uh, it says. Forget oh, here we go. <laughs> There's a yeah, random yeah. trash can like a mile away. Yep. Yeah. It's empty. Oh, it's oh empty. no. Maybe in the house. 
Um, it's on a ledge. Oh, okay. Maybe I can. Nothing in here. There's a ledge with a building on top of it. Might be that one. Okay, I can get up on the ledge. Yeah. You don't need the bomb launchers, but it could be useful. And then once you take these guys down, well, we we should stop after we take these enemies down. But at, I guess, next time on Let's Play Mega Man Legends, uh, we'll start the third portal, Portal Three. Which is, uh, for reference, it's the dome cave building again. Yo, this thing fucking tears enemies apart. Let's go. Yeah, the machine buster is quite, quite good. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, mamacita. Oh, yeah, watch, mama. Watch the tanks. Yeah, it's very good, Landy. I agree. All right, there we go. So it's right. it's it's not in this area that I'm in. I don't. What what is the bomb launcher or the dome? What whatever I'm looking for. Oh, can... so there. It, so oh, you should be able house to... on the ledge. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So yeah, over there is the uh, the bomb launcher. And then after that, there's a, there's like a, there's a, um, a dome-shaped house somewhere in the area, and then in there is the third portal, and that's where. D. It's a box. Safety helmet. Safety helmet's useful. And then anything in that. Why is there a vending machine up here? Yeah, I know, right? Oh shit, it's them! Yep. So yeah, you can you can buy stuff here as well. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, I can. Oh, hang on. There we go. Meanwhile, you have a can floating on the moon. Ouch. Oof. All right. So okay, now. So yeah, then uh, there should be a bridge somewhere around here, and over there is the dome, and I suggest we stop there if possible. Because that's- a the dome. dome is the next, uh, yeah, there's like a dome-shaped house, and the next, uh, yeah, Portal 3 is in there, and then that's where you would get the Powered Buster, and you can leave that for next time. Alright, so head to the next area, and- Yeah. Ooh! Ooh Buy a Pepsi! <laughs> Buy a Pepsi? I'm good. Oh, you know what? That might be fun to stream sometime is Pepsi, man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I've actually never played it, so it'd be fun. Okay, so yeah, the portal should be close to you. Gotta fucking shred your ass. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, there's Data and the... It looks like the pirates are digging a big hole or something on the other side of this passage. Be careful. So yeah, there's there's a boss over here, and then after and then before, but before we go there, we should go to the third portal, which is right over here anyway. Okay. So we'll we'll save that for next time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess we can just call it here for now. Uh, yep, one one two. Thank you for uh, for joining me, and if you want to plug yourself real quick, it's not a huge stream, but it's a stream nonetheless. So. Um, let me just get the, ch okay, there we go. So yeah, uh, hello everyone, I'm 112, I suppose. I'd be a little concerned if you didn't recognize who I was at this point, considering I'm in the title. But <laughs> yes, I am a, I, I stream myself over at twitch.tv slash 112112. Uh, you spell out the, you spell out the numbers first and then you put the numbers. Um, on Twitter at twitter.com slash 112 underscore 112, same thing, letters and numbers. And you can also find me very frequently on the R Mega Man subreddit and Discord server at reddit.com slash r slash Mega Man or discord.gg slash Mega Man. We are welcoming of players of all skill levels and all identities. We love the Blue Bomber and fight for everlasting peace. I would Hell love yeah. to see you and people there at, at any point. So again, thank you all very much. And thank you, Rob, for having me on. It means the world to me. 
Yeah, and this is, you remember everyone, this is just part one, so we're going to do this at least, probably at least once, maybe twice a week if we can squeeze in the time, right? But, uh, it, you know, always stick around, having a good time and everything, so, oh! Jumping Ox, thank you, hey. appreciate it, love it. Alright everyone, have a good night. Take care everyone, bye!